Indonesia, the biggest city in Indonesia, and on the island of Java. There's about 15, 14,000 islands in, the, in Indonesia, and uh, there's about seven million, seven, seven million people. No, wait. 250 million people 250 in million Indonesia. People. Yeah. 10 million of them approximately here. Yeah. So this is one of their monuments and there is 50 kilograms of gold at the top. Very important. Stepping something. What? President's house. Oh, I know the <laughs> Buddhist temple. Borobudur is one of the wonder in the world Buddhist temple, and it was built in the year of 824. And this uh, statue in the Borobudur consisting there are 505 Buddhist statues and 72 Buddhist statues inside of the Trilai Stupa. And this one, the Buddhist, uh, Buddhist uh, statue, it is very simple. It is different like the Hindu. Hindu is more ornament, more decoration, but Buddhist it is very simple. No more decoration on the body, just curling hair, long in, and this uh, hand, like this one, it is the symbolized Buddhist in meditating, meditation. There is also Buddha like this one. It is Buddha turning the wheel of law. Yeah, turning the wheel of law. There is Buddha also something like this one. It means Fearlessness. There is Buddha also like this one. Like this one. The Buddha crawling the earth as the witness. And then also there is Buddha as like this one. This means the Buddha is always help the people. Help. This is help. to the God in order the Princess Simka will be saved. Oh, thank you very much, Anuman. Thank you. island of Java and we're in on our way to the biggest Buddhist temple in the world, um, Udahara. And, <laughs> and um, it's a beautiful day. It's so it's warm but it's not muggy. Lovely and it's beautiful scene. We're at the we're Eva We're having a cup of Java coffee. Eva's coffee house here in Samarang, Indonesia uh, at uh, I think it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We've just been on the bus for an hour and a half. Here we are at Borobudur. I got it, Borobudur. Is a World Heritage Site. Well, I had it earlier. Uh, 8th century, and uh, it's quite amazing. <laughs> Covered with ash from a volcano and uh, dug up. Are you looking 
And here it is. Ah, look at the Buddha, all the Buddha in the temple here sitting, no stand up, this lion smiling, and look at the hair, same with the hair of the Buddha statue. Originally we have two lions, but one lion and other side amazing. Mm. This is still good condition, facing up is like kick card. This made from one stone, and this is lava. Lava is like sand. It's a very good for the camping. Me, please. Eagle at the outside will eat my body. So the king promised to protect little bird. A few minutes after, eagle come. He explained to the king, I'm sorry. He is my food. And Eagle said, mm -hmm. I keep very hungry. If you keep this, I keep hungry, maybe die. You kill me. Little Bird also said, you promise to protect me. If you give me to Eagle, also you kill me. So the king made decisions. He keep the bird. And he will give to the Eagle part from his own body, with the same weight as little bird. Eagle said, okay, I'm a tree, but he won't fail. Look, he made scale, <laughs> sorry, scale. Uh -huh. So they keep this little bird, and then the king took his own flesh from the body here, and look at keep over here. This little bird still heavy, mm -hmm. so the king gave more flesh in this. And the little bird also more heavy. Somebody tried to stop with the head. <laughs> this is for make balance. Mm -hmm. But the king didn't like Because this is not fair. And then the king tried for total body total body of the king, then move and keep over here, and this is balance with the little bird. Uh -huh. So eagle, he has right to eat a whole body. The king said, eat my body, and you get free to the little bird. Eagle, and then explain to the king, I'm very appreciate, you are very wise king. But eagle said, I will not eat you. Because eagle and little bird are gods. They only want to test how wise the king with this problem. Uh. <laughs> and then the color must the really have yellow. Originally lava was black. This is painted. Hi, we're at the top. And they have a lightning rod out there because it's been hit by lightning. It used to be a lot taller. Seven meters. You want to make pictures? And then we go to the corner. It's the good point. You can take a whole picture of stupid. Why, thank you. It's official, we're lost.
here's our rice fields here. in the morning and here we are in Bali and my battery is running out so I gotta change my battery I hope that I have a charge on the left side. This is actually the temple on, on the left side, where the temple festival is. Mm -hmm. And this is the community temple, a village temple. And this center, river with red and white. Pray to God, their hands should be like this. Two hands together above their head. This is when they pray to God. But to the ancestral spirit mm -hmm. here in two compartments, mm -hmm. they, their hand will be between their two eye, uh, their eyebrows, like this, you know. But the men sit cross leg, the lady kneel down. Can you understand it? Mm -hmm. Sit here.
uncle here. <coughs> this is actually the royal temple also. Mm. Because in nine in the thirteenth century it was said the king of Bangli rebuilt this temple. Beautiful trees and look at see you can see the tree that the root is so nice. This one must be about three or four hundred years old. But Shiva, the destroyer, the god of destroyer, he is uh, white color. He has white color. So white, black, and red. Mm. Those are the color of the Balinese Hindu triad. Triad, triad or triad? Uh, it could be either one. You could say. We're looking at all the different um, things, like the vanilla bean, the coffee. We're gonna. So the, this is the coffee that they feed through. Uh, yeah. uh, here she comes with it. Ah, you get Excuse free. me, yeah. Okay, we give you free for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is the, this is the coffee that the beans they're fed to an animal animal looks kind of like a ferret or something, and then it goes through the system and it comes out. It out. So this is, and then they take. It's very special, and then they take the bean that the, no that the fruit, and they dry it out, and then they crush it and make it into mm, coffee. Yummy coffee. We have five different types here. It's the Bali coffee, the Bali cocoa, ginseng coffee, mm. ginger, and lemongrass tea. Cheers. Cheers. Is that the beaches over there? Yes, yes, that's There's it. our mode of transportation. Put our hood up. Some people take the sand, the volcanic sand, up there. For uh, building construction. Oh, okay. So this river is uh, from Mount Agung, the, the highest mountain. Uh, it's so cool. It's just fishing. We love. We have a lot of fish here. Beautiful day here in Bali. About 3:20. Friday the fourth. Well, our wonderful day in Bali has come to a close. A bit early, it's only about 3.20, but that's the time we're set to set sail, but we started about 6, so we're, we're pretty much done. We had a fabulous day up there in the hills. The day, real people. With Stefani and Gusto. And our, and our driver and our guide. Village, which I think he's probably have taken some film of, and uh, yeah, pretty simple life, but they seem to be very, very happy. suburb of, of uh, Perth. Doesn't like to be called a suburb though. I know. Though. And we're going to take the, the boat, the, the little ferry in and take the uh, train back. Um, it's about half an hour I think it takes to get into Perth. 
and uh, it's kind of a little chilly. It's like a kind of a Vancouver-y spring day. Maybe more than spring. I think if the wind stopped, it would be more like a little bit of a cooler summer day. But uh, I think it might be about 20, 18, no, about 20 degrees, I think, out here. Yeah. But the um, sun's bad. starting to shine, and uh, we had a fire alarm last night at 4 in the morning. We all had to get up and uh, get dressed and wait, and there was a fire in the incinerator room, and they put it out relatively quickly. The captain seemed a little bit nervous when he came on the, on the uh, uh, loudspeaker, but I think he just had trouble waking up. I think he seemed more annoyed than nervous. <laughs> oh no, I think he was... He was scared. Anyway, we weren't. So, uh, okay. here we are. Uh, ladies and gents, tell us once again on the main deck area. We have a staircase heading down. Back and enjoy the ride. This part of the tour takes us out to Northridge in the Burswood Entertainment Complex. Please be careful as we make our way past the most and most important public buildings in the city. It was built in 1870 and is the only convict built town hall in Australia. It was built in the... to make our way uh, around and have a little view of, this, of, the, of the place. To the uh, Fremantle prison. And, she uh, says it with a question mark. And uh, yeah, it's a warm day. Yesterday we froze and underdressed. Today we overdressed and now we're boiling. Fremantle prison was built in the 1950s on Limestone Ridge, which is quarried and leveled to provide a ready supply of limestone for the buildings. And there's a good example of the limestone that this is built on, or built with. Indian Ocean. Great America, on the other side of the sphere, Australia, was given to the enlightened world by whalemen. After its first blunder-born discovery at, uh, by a Dutchman, all other ships long shunned these shores as pestiferously barbarous, but the whale ship touched here. 
the whale ship is a true mother of that that is the now mighty colony. Spoken by Herman Melville Moby Dick, 1851. And, uh, huh. In 1837, an ambitious scheme for a bay bay whaling station began here at Bather's Beach. In the photograph you see, which is the Bather's Beach whaling station, you can see the complex built by the Fremantle Whaling Company. Whaling was not revived until the area until Norwegians introduced advanced open sea hunting technology at Jervis Bay. Jervios Bay in 1912. Arthur Head, Fremantle. And here we are. An old way to travel. <laughs> got kicked off the bus. So we are, we are left stranded in the middle of Melbourne with only a map and 20 cents. We're on our own. Yes, here we are at the Parliament of Victoria that was established on a, and it really is a beautiful view. It really is gorgeous. Here it is. Yes, and I'm going to just sort of walk up the steps of it to give some perception to it. Here we go. Well, here we are at the Occupy Melbourne um, demonstration. It's all over around the world. And I guess I haven't had a chance to sh maybe shut it down here. I'm not sure if it's shut down in Vancouver. Here we are at this very, very amazing Federation Square. Federation Square. Square. Absolutely. The squariest. <laughs> Looks like they're going to have a little performance here tonight. And uh, Linda Station.
fabulous Indonesian show. It was wonderful. See all the people that we see on a daily basis up on stage and doing their If you want to cock thing. it, I'll take a picture of you two. Well, actually, why don't you just come and say hello to our camera? We'll always remember yeah. you. Hi One there. of our table mates. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Somehow I, I recognize his back. Yeah, his back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or the chair. Or the chair clang. to eight to ten acre lots of land back in the 1820s. But recently, Nicole Kidman had a two-bedroom apartment here and she had it on the market for $20 million Australian and she finally agreed on $17 million Australian for her two-bedroom apartment here at Darling Point. The seawall next to the jetty there, built by the convicts. This is a public park on the right that was once the grounds of the mansion on the corner with the columns in front. The mansion was built for the Fairfax family. They're a well-known family in Sydney. They established the newspaper, the Sydney Morning Herald in 1831. That's our broadsheet. In Australia, houses here sell from $8 million up to $55 million Australian. And this sea wall around here, once again, put in place by the convicts. This land was issued out as a land grant in 1810 to Governor Macquarie's harbour master, Captain John Piper. It's the name of the suburb. Now, this is Rose Bay. This is the largest of our 66 bays in Sydney Harbour. And this is the home to the Royal Motor Yacht Squadron. This was missed by Captain James Cook who was largely responsible for opening up the trade routes for England back in the 1700s. He actually named Botany Bay, which is sort of down south behind us. He named it after his botanist, Sir Joseph Banks. But uh, he sailed far over the horizon there, and what he thought he saw was a small bay of no significance. That's what he wrote in his journal, too small of, for any anchorage, you know, too insignificant, so nothing more was thought about it. Until 18 years later, Governor Philip came up the... Well, we won't head down there, of course. <laughs> we'll probably just have a little bit of Darling Harbour for you. In the early days, the western side of Sydney Harbour was very industrial. And you'll see on your left... Sydney Opera House tour. And directly underneath us is the western foyer where we just were. So that's how you access the 
Alright, so it's probably continuing to wait for Plus, which means that you are always appreciating the heart of you. So it was very deep on you using the landscape. He was very aware of the fact that you weren't just building a building that would stick out on its own. It had to be a feature of the landscape. So that means that they're extremely durable. Very few have ever had to be replaced. The only time they did replace any really was in the year 2000. They replaced about 2000 around the edge. Hi. Well, we just visited the Sydney Opera House and then we ended up getting tickets for a meeting by the last name Izzard. Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard. We've never heard of him, but apparently he's very famous. And we're going to see him tonight. And now we're on the ferry heading over to Manly Beach, where we'll have some lunch. White sandy beach. White sand, and it's a lovely little town. And November the 15th. Hang out. November the 15th, and. Reserve site is beyond Manly, and it's a bit breezy, but we've walked up here, and uh, it's a lovely view. So she prefers to nest during the day, um, and that will separate the males and the boys. He's able to uh, use those muscles to go all the way back up to himself, almost right up next to Jared's face there. So basically what we've been saying is, if you do see a snake out in the wild, definitely admire them, they are beautiful creatures. Get these 
Just kidding.
not, not expensive? Is it that expensive? Oh, yes. Yeah,